Hi, welcome to Kauzalwai's channel. This is the continuation video of assignment problem. Already we have seen list of videos under same topic. Balanced, unbalanced, diagonal selection and maximization problem. You can find the links in the description box. Also you can find the links for various topics on various subjects over there. Now in this video we are going to see restricted assignment problem. So guys try to watch the complete video to get the clarity about this topic. And if you are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the further notification of my new uploads. Now let's get into the video. See, in assignment problem, as we all know that it has two types. The first one is balanced assignment problem and the second one is unbalanced assignment problem. What is balanced assignment problem? Both rows and columns will be equal, that is square matrix. Unbalanced means number of rows will not equal to number of columns. Okay, that is called as unbalanced assignment problem. Okay, for that first you have to convert unbalanced into balanced. Then you can solve the problem. For that we need to add either dummy row or dummy column accordingly. Okay, so these are the things we have already seen in a separate video. You can find the links in the description box. In this video we are going to see restricted assignment problem. So, what is the meaning of restricted assignment problem? See, in assignment problem, sometimes they will give some restriction, some conditions will be there like no assignment can be made in some of the places. Okay, this is a restriction will be given in the problem. Based on that, you have to solve assignment problem. I will explain this concept along with the numerical problem for a better understanding. Let us see the problem. See the problem. Consider a problem of assigning 4 clerks to 4 tasks. The times that is hours required to complete the task are given below. See the matrix. There are 4 clerks 1, 2, 3, 4 and 4 different tasks A, B, C, D. So these are the time required to complete the task. See the condition. Clerk 2 cannot be assigned to task A. Here the matrix. Clerk 2, task A, nothing is mentioned. That is clerk 2 cannot be assigned to task A. Okay. The second condition is clerk 3 cannot be assigned to task B. Clerk 3 no work that is for B. Okay. Task B nothing is mentioned. The condition is clerk 3 cannot be assigned to task B. So these are the two restrictions given in the problem. With this information they ask you to find out the optimum assignment schedule. Okay. So this type of problem is called restricted assignment problem. Here they have mentioned some restriction. You are not supposed to allocate task A to clerk 2 and task B to clerk 3. Okay. Now let us see the solution. See the solution. First we need to check whether the problem is balanced or unbalanced. Okay. See the matrix. This one is balanced assignment problem. Here we have 4 rows and 4 columns. Okay. See according to this problem here we are not supposed to assign task A to clerk 2 and task B to clerk 3. So we need to assign highest value in the restricted area that is uh, infinity. Okay. Now you can proceed based on the algorithm. Look at the algorithm. We have already seen this algorithm in detail in the previous videos. You can find the links in the description box. Here I am going to just solve the problem based on this algorithm. Look at the phase 1. Step 1 is row reduction and step 2 is column reduction. Okay. See the solution. In order to reduce the row, first we need to find out the least value in each and every row and subtract that element from all other elements. Okay. In the first row, the least value is 8. So, 8 minus 8, 0. 14 minus 8, 10 minus 8, 12 minus 8. Okay. See the second row, the least value is 8. First one, infinity. 16 minus 8, 14 minus 8, 8 minus 8. Okay. See the third row, the least value is 6. 6 minus 6, 10 minus 6, 6 minus 6. Fourth row, the least value is 4. 12 minus 4, 12 minus 4, 8 minus 4, 4 minus 4. Okay, this is the new matrix after row reduction. 
now we have to do column reduction for that same rule in each and every column we need to find out the least value and subtract that value from all other elements okay if you find zero as least value then you will be getting the same value here we have zeros no so enter the same value okay in the second column the least value is 6 6 minus 6 8 minus 6 8 minus 6 In the third column, the least value is 2. So, 0, 4, 2, 2. In the fourth column, we have 0. So, you will be getting same figure. Okay. This is the new matrix after column reduction. Okay. The first phase is over. Now, we will move on to phase 2. See the algorithm. Phase 2 is optimization of the problem. Okay. In optimization of the problem, the first step is draw a minimum number of lines to cover all the zeros of the matrix for this we need to do certain procedures the first one is row scanning and then column scanning see the solution see the solution here we are going to draw a minimum number of lines to cover all the zeros in the matrix for that the first step is row scanning so what is row scanning start from the first row and ask the following question that is is there exactly one zero in that row if yes mark a square around that zero entry and draw a vertical line passing through that zero otherwise skip that row go to the second row okay i'm going to do that see in the first row we have more than one zeros okay so skip that row go to the next row here we have only one zero yes mark square around this zero and draw a vertical line passing through this zero okay then go to the third row yes here we have only one zero undeleted zero is only one so mark square around this zero and draw a vertical line passing through this zero okay in the last row we don't have any zeros now we have to go for column scanning same rule in the first column already deleted See the second column, we have only one zero in this column. So, draw a square around this zero and draw, draw horizontal line passing through this zero. Okay. See the third column, here we don't have any zeros. Okay. The fourth column already deleted. That's all. We have done all the row scanning and column scanning and we have covered all the zeros. Now, go to next step. See the algorithm. The next step is check whether the number of square marked is equal to the number of rows of the matrix. If yes, go to the last step, step 5. Otherwise, go to step 3. See the solution. See the solution. Number of square marked is 3. 1, 2, 3. Okay. In this problem, how many number of rows are there? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, number of square marked is not equal to number of rows in the matrix okay so if yes if it is equal that's all you can go to the last step okay but here it is not equal now you have to go to the next step see the algorithm step 3 is identify the minimum value of the undeleted cell values okay and add the minimum undeleted cell value at the intersection points of the present matrix and subtract the minimum undeleted cell value from all the undeleted cell values. Okay. And the third one is all other entries remain same. Now see the solution. See the solution. See from the undeleted values we need to find out the least value. Now which one is least value? 2 is the least value. That least value need to be added in the intersection point. Here this one is intersection point and this is also intersection point. Here we need to add 2. Here we need to add 2. Okay. And then from all other undeleted value, we need to subtract the same minimum element. That is 2, no? So, 2 minus 2, 4 minus 2, 2 minus 2, 2 minus 2, 2 minus 2. You will be getting new value. Okay. All other deleted value remain same. Now, let us see the new matrix. See the solution. After third step, this is the new matrix. Okay. Now, again we have to do row scanning and column scanning in order to draw minimum number of lines to cover all the zeros in the matrix. Okay. See, in the first row, we have more than one zeros. So, skip this row, go to the next row. 
again here also we have more than one zeros now go to the third row we have more than one zero in the fourth row also more than one zeros now go to the column scanning in the first column we have only one zero okay so draw a square around this zero and draw one horizontal line passing through this zero okay now go to the second column here we have more than one zero go to next column yes here also we have more than one zero in the last column also we have more than one zero okay now we have to repeat row scanning and column scanning as much as possible okay now see the first row we have two zeros okay in the second row also we have two zeros and in the last row also we have three zeros okay see we have done row scanning and column scanning as much as possible but still some zeros are not covered with lines okay in this scenario we need to do diagonal selection in the row scanning and column scanning that is select the zeros diagonally opposite with each other see start from the first row in the first row we have two zeros no if i select this zero for the first row i have to select diagonally opposite with this zero for the second row i have to select this zero okay suppose if i select this zero means i can select either this one or this one both are diagonally opposite okay so now i am going to select this one okay for the first row i am going to select this one okay diagonally i am going to select this zero so for the first column i have select this one no so you have to draw one vertical line passing through this zero okay for the second row i have selected this no so draw one line like this to cover these zeros okay now come to the second row already we have selected okay third row also we have selected now go to the last row in the last row we have only one undeleted zero so no other option i have to select this zero and i need to draw one vertical line passing through this zero that's all now check the condition number of square marked is equal to number of rows so how many boxes are here four four square is equal to number of rows one two three four so both are equal okay now see the algorithm we have verified that the number of square marked is equal to number of rows of the matrix okay if yes go to step 5 otherwise go to step 3 okay here we have satisfied this condition so we need to go to step 5 look at the algorithm step 5 is treat the solution as marked by the squares as the optimum solution okay now we have got the optimality now we need to assign by seeing the original matrix see the solution compare the solution with the original matrix okay see clerk 1 task b no so duration is 14 hours clerk 2 task d duration is 8 hours clerk 3 task a duration is 6 hours clerk 4 task c duration is 8 hours okay now find out the total hours taken to complete the all task see the optimum solution clerk 1 b clerk 2 task d clerk 3 task a clerk 4 task c okay the total hours taken is 36 hours so this is the way to solve restricted assignment problem okay hope you like this video please hit the like comment, subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.